All right, so here is the water cell where we're going to be stripping off the silver plate from this. Okay, so I picked up a $2, $3 plate. I bought that. I'm sure that was on a bottle at half price. But we're going to strip that silver off. And I'm not going to use any electrolyte like sodium nitrate, uh, potassium nitrate. I'm not going to use any salts because I want this to be relatively chemical free. And there's enough of the electrolyte. I have some magnesium in here from my well water and distilled water, and I'm running a higher voltage. I'm running about 31 volts, and uh, we're pulling about 0.3 amps right now. Uh, that's the best can do because of the low conductivity in it. But as the silver and the material starts to go in solution, our conductivity will go up and then I can reduce the voltage and increase the amperage, therefore increasing the wattage. But we're gonna let that go for a while. What I have here is a stainless steel cathode and the anode of obviously is the silver plate. I had to move them a little closer for the conductivity, but this is the beginning of our silver plate. For the flatware, we're probably going to have to use uh, sulfuric acid, a little bit of nitric, nitric, nitric acid and uh, to hasten that. But, but that can be done outside slowly. So that's what we're going to start. We're going to start this series. Can we make a 10 ounce bar cheaper than we can buy one? And I, man, I'd kind of like to keep it under $200. Let's see how cheap we can make this. All right, so stick with me. So I forgot to mention that we're running 31 volts, 0 0.4 amps, and that's about 1.2 watts, relatively low wattage. And we'll come back in an hour and check on it.